Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick uh, update. Uh, I've had my third infusion of Rituxan or Rituximab. I had that a couple days ago and um, it went really smooth. Uh, I was super tired though. They gave me Benadryl and Solumedrol and I think it was aspirin uh, right before they did the actual infusion. And the Benadryl, man, it made me super tired. I crashed out in the infusion center for a couple hours. It was actually nice. Um, but anyway, no side effects other than a little bit of yellowing of the skin and uh, face and whole body, but that disappeared in 24 hours. And, um, you know, it hurt for the needle, a minor prick, you know, but it still hurts. And um, a headache. I did have a headache this time, a little bit worse than, than last time, but it was like a typical headache. I took a couple Advils or a, a Motrin or whatever it was and it disappeared uh, within 20 minutes of taking that and um, it never came back. So anyway, this year, 2017 mid-year, I believe ocrelizumab is coming out. Uh, I've been starting the discussion with my current neurologist in regards to me getting on that. So um, I'm pretty sure that when that gets fully FDA approved, I will start taking that and then I'll put a video after my first infusion, I would expect that to be in about six months. So um, I'm doing okay. I'm not noticing any benefit or any uh, negatives on taking Rituxan or Rituximab because of course I don't know what my progression would be without being on the medication. So um, I've been on uh, Rituxan for three, this is my third infusion like I mentioned. So it's been roughly about a year plus, year and a half, somewhere around there. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, let me know. And once again, I will put a video on about my the ocrelizumab infusion I'm going to do next time. Okay, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.